Libra, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of November 2022. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Libra, what's going on? <clears throat> the overall energy for the reading the magician you're in manifesting mode yay so cool you're in the middle of uh, manifestation for something here starting off the reading you get the page of wands crossed by the hierophant um keeping yourself open there's um there's something here why do i feel like this is tied up to your beliefs your values huh where you're opening up your perspective a little bit when it comes to that, almost like there's a shift in your beliefs and, you know, you used to believe in one thing, now you believe in another, or you're starting to open up to, okay, so this could be like this, not like this. I get the sense that this is what this Hierophant is here. Uh, yeah, in your focus here, the Five of Wands, a little bit of conflict, which always happens, especially if you're... Um, going through something kind of changing your perspective it could be inner conflict it could be you arguing with yourself like whoa what are you crazy how can you believe that oh. um or it could be outer conflict it could be people around you that bring in this conflict i don't know we'll see um in the recent past the ten of cups that's happiness right there and i feel like it's a sense of happiness where it's not only you experiencing, oh my God, I'm so happy. It's kind of like surrounding you. So it's the energies that surround you that bring the, bring in that sense of happiness. This is yours right here in your strength. You do carry that inside of you because otherwise you wouldn't experience it outside of yourself. Um, in the immediate future, a little bit of confusion, a little bit of you getting stuck in your head about something here. Uh, supporting this reading... Uh, the wheel of for the the world card not the wheel of fortune i saw it round i'm like oh it's a wheel no the world card you're ending a cycle you're coming to a closing of a cycle here cool i like when the cycles end on a high note so apparently you've been bubbling in that there's a little bit of lows but there not much um, <clears throat> surrounding you at this time that you may not see the energy of the Knight of Pentacles. There's an energy that's coming towards you. It's moving quite slow. Of course, you're not seeing it because it's not here yet. But, uh, it's moving slow, very slow. Um, in your hopes and fears, the Four of Pentacles. You're having a hard time letting go of something here. And for the potential outcome, the Two of Cups. Two energies coming together in love here. Let's uh, let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me do the magician. The strength card, the eight of cups, the death card. Um. There's a closure almost that you're seeking or uh, there's there's a chapter that closed off. It could be tied up to a particular person or a situation where something did close off. It's done. It's a done deal. Uh, you are behind this manifesting. I kind of get a sense that you're trying to kind of get over it completely, like find your closure. I get the sense that that's your manifestation in there. Uh, it's a lot, though it's it's very pressing this energy it's not because i don't know when this situation happened i don't know if it's recent or not recent the feeling of it feels quite heavy quite a lot for you to to put up with and it almost looks like okay i need closure here i need to be done with it uh i don't know i don't know about that um, let's do the page of wands. 
<clears throat> Seven of Swords, Two of Wands, Page of Swords. Hmm. You change your mind here. Yeah, there's a lot of back and forth here. And if this is tied up to your belief system or whatever it is you got going on that you believe in, I feel like there's that struggle of letting go of old beliefs and, you know, kind of hanging on to what's coming in as new. There's always that struggle. It's not going to be like, oh, I'm waking up today and suddenly I believe the sky is red when all my life I believed it was blue. You know, that's a stupid example, but kind of like that. There's a little bit of a struggle in acceptance of the new and letting go of the old. Now, this doesn't have to be tied up to your belief system. It could be tied up to completely something else, uh, but it's still an energy that you're having a little bit of a struggle here with in terms of letting it go and just kind of allowing it to be what it is for now. Because uh, I see a back and forth on your side. Let's do the Hierophant. The Six of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Could be tied up to someone where I see your resistance to letting this go. Like you just don't want to let this go. And then it confuses the hell out of you because I feel like Whatever this is, it's asking you to let it go. Mm. And that's why the struggle, you're refusing to let it go. You know you may have to because either this energy or the universe or every sign out there is telling you, let this go. And you're like, nope. Nope. Okay. Let's do the five of wands. <clears throat> Quite, quite a struggle here for you with this one. For the Five of Wands, you get the Six of Wands, the Hierophant, the Knight of Swords. This Hierophant situation. It's, it's, oh man. You kind of have it down in terms of, um subconsciously you know that even if you do let it go you're not actually letting it go it's always going to stay with you whatever this is so there's a little bit of understanding of that but at the same time your mind can't really pin it down to the point of well then why do i let it go or how do i let it go there's so many other ways that make you believe that you're not actually letting it go when you are this is so freaking twisted and hard to explain and I feel like I feel like you know the the essence of this the energy of it you're not letting go definitely physically there's so many aspects to it that make you believe that you have to let it go physically and maybe you do that doesn't mean you you are letting it go oh the struggle because I see you going towards it I see your energy there I see Whatever this is, they're with you. So the energies are definitely together here. You're not letting anything go here. I see, I see like, like darts coming your way, telling you, let it go, let it go, let it go. Um, from all angles. Oh man, this is a nasty one. Cause I, I get the sense that it's a, it's a combo between the physical and the energetical, and it's like you get all mixed up in there and you don't understand anything at the end of the day. And it's like, do I have this? Do I not? I don't, because it's not here, but I do because I feel it here, you know, kind of a thing. Ooh, this is a tough one. Let's do the Nine of Cups in your strength. The Fool, the Empress, the Ten of Swords. You've lost something here. There's there's um, the energy of loss. There's the energy of defeat. And almost like I'm looking at this energy and I see you in your power, like you're showing up strong and everything put together and ever, everything together in a beautiful way. And then I see you down. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm like, it's okay. 
Sometimes it happens, even when you're up there to fall down. You know, get up, brush yourself up, and you're good to go. But sometimes it happens. It, it almost feels like it's hard to accept the defeat, the, ooh, I'm down. But again, I'm looking at these energies, and I'm like, it's, there's absolutely nothing negative, nothing. It just happens. Sometimes. That doesn't mean you stay down. You know, that doesn't mean you have to force yourself to get up too early or to, you know, you'll know you have it all together there. The energy behind the falling down is freaking amazing. You, you, you can figure this out on your own. You just got to give yourself that defeat sometimes, you know, that, that sent that acceptance of that too. Cause I feel like you don't want to, there's something that's been lost here and it came with a sense of defeat. And I feel like you're not allowing yourself to go through that, to experience that. <clears throat> kind of like, I have to stay up. What? You're still up. In that energy, you can get up anytime you want. But don't do it despite the energy that's pulling you down. Because there's a reason that it pulls you down there. You know? Two of Swords in the immediate future. The Ace of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the King of Swords. Ooh, so much determination here to go get something done. To, there's a whole lot of clarity. I don't know where you're going with this one, but it's definitely an energy of clarity of this is what I want to do. This is the direction in which I'm going. And then bam, you get yourself stuck in your head. You start questioning, you start doubting, you start, mm, I don't know if that's right. It, really? That's right? Who said? You know, uh, there, there's a whole lot of something. And I'm like, where the hell did this come from? Because you're showing me a lot of clarity here. And then, I don't know, a, a, a leaf flies a little to the left, and you're like, oh. What was I doing? Oh, is that, is that right what I'm doing, though? You know, like a little bit of something comes in to set you directly into your... the, the wheels of the mind. It could also be one of those things where you actually do something with a lot of determination, a lot of courage. You actually get to do it. And then once you do it, you're like, uh-oh, did I do that right? You know, there's there's a sense of questioning over that. And I don't know why, because the energy is pretty clear and quite nice. Let's do the world card. <clears throat> In the supportive... Energies, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Five of Swords. Stopping yourself. There's always that stopping yourself. Stopping yourself from failing. You know, even though you are down there, you're not accepting that. Stopping yourself when you have the courage, you have all of the energies, you have all of the everything put together. And then, bam, you stop and ask yourself, hmm, did I do that right? Or did I? There's always like a little bit of, let me stop myself in my own action, in my own flow of energies. That's the cycle that's coming to a close. Because it's been quite deceptive. A lot of the times you did that without even knowing necessarily that you did it, you just stopped yourself in your own tracks. Nobody else did. And it's coming through as being quite deceptive. If the energy flows in a direction, why would you stop it? Oh, I'm not. I'm just uh, wondering if it's the right direction. Oh, well, you're stopping it, you know? Um, <clears throat> and that's the cycle that's closing because I, I noticed it throughout the reading even in these times when you're the shit but then it happens sometimes that you drop and you don't allow yourself to drop you know even then you stop yourself that's the cycle and that's what's coming to a close Let's do the Knight of Pentacles in the energy that is hidden. Ace of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Sun. There's an energy that comes your way. It's moving really, really slow. It's bringing in a whole lot of happiness. For now, nothing's happening there, though. There's, there's definitely... It, it almost feels like they took a break. They're, you know, they're at lunchtime or something. I don't know what the hell they're doing. They're moving really slow and they take a break too. Like, well, what the hell is that about? Anyways, <clears throat> I don't know if it's a, even a person. It could be something else that, you know, 
um, approaches you as an energy. Uh, it is, again, bringing in a whole new, a brand new beginning with a lot of happiness for you. You got to be patient because I can't even describe how slow this is. And then it takes breaks too. So, I don't know what it is, but it's coming your way. It's heading your way. Let's do the Four of Pentacles in your hopes and fears. <coughs> oh, man. <clears throat> okay, that wasn't bad. I've had it worse. Oh, but that, that feels good when I do that. It's, it's like clearing out everything. Four of Pentacles. You get um, Four of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. You've lost something. You've lost something really important to you, really close to home. I don't know what it is. Again, I see that ending there. Um, you're healing. Currently, you're healing. And you're, you're kind of in this place of, yeah, I want to heal. I want to give myself that time. So you're definitely <clears throat> to yourself. You're, you're, you're dealing with whatever it is you, this, this loss is bringing up for you. Um, so that's, that's a good energy. Let's do the Two of Cups in the potential outcome. <clears throat> the Two of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. How do I put this? There's an energy that's shown up. Replacing is not a good word. That's why I can't find it, because it's not that. It, the energy that you're losing now, there's another energy that's coming in. Not to replace it. To compensate? What's the energy? Because it's not replacement. It's not. That's irreplaceable, whatever you lost. But it is one that's looking quite freaking similar that's coming in to pick up where the other energy left off yeah that, that, that's a good that's a that's a better way of putting it than replacing because it's not replacing it and i get the sense that when this one shows up it's going to get a little bit confusing a little bit it's it's going to take a little bit of time for you to realize that but um that's where i see this other energy that's coming through pick up where this one you lost left off okay let me see what the universe has <clears throat> to close off this reading seven of swords three of cups page of swords i mean you are making progress in actually accepting and letting things go here you're you're still kind of struggling there's still that sense of looking back kind of like could it be happening? Is there any chance that this could come back together in any kind of way? In other words, a lack of complete acceptance over it. Uh, you're still there. But, you know, slowly but surely, it's definitely um, a process. And you are taking your time with it. And do give yourself enough time to, to get past whatever it is you're trying to get past here. Um, there's still, again, that tendency to look back at times, which is normal. It's normal to be there. Let's close it off with the Spirit of the Animals Oracle. <clears throat> Horse, freedom. All right. Uh, your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. So, cool. Love this animal. Um, that's what I have for you. Hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.